There is a song I would like the, the melodious to sing. I will ask them to come over. Kuna wimbo, inaomba, na wauliza, melodious you are but this one will not go far. There is something that I want the Holy Ghost to put in our hearts. Have they come the crusade of Kwasiku? Uh, Deacon Alex and Dismas Nakirui, I want that crusade to be the classic one. Alex, pamoja nami na kirui, uyo mkutano uwe wa ali ya juu. Begin, bring all together the pastors, those who are within the ref and outside the ref. Tulete wachungaji pamoja walio katika uduma ya ref na walio inje. I'll be teaching them in the morning. Takuwa na wafundisha asui. Afternoon we begin the crusade. Njioni tunanza mkutano wa inje. And all the mothers and every department in this place must be a participant in every activity that is taking place. And as I said, every Friday I need all choirs here. And again, I don't see the, 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 the youth choir singing here. Ilisema tena kila juma nataka waimbaji wote na hapa sioni waimbaji wanarika hapa. Every Sunday I want to see the youth choir singing here. Kila juma pili nataka kuona wanarika kwa yao ikiimba hapa. Yeah because we cannot know what is you can't be a, you are you are doing your own things it can't work that that can't make sense. Uh, yes endelea wanafanya vitu vyao hapa yes fanya kazi. I want to see you in the service here. And the teenagers. Na vijana. The Sunday schools, the teachers will know what, how to coordinate them to be coming here also for Wali, other events. Walimu wao pia, watanjua vili watafanya wanastili pia wawe hapa. And I said and I'm saying we must move in one direction. Ilisema na naendelea kusema lazima tuenende katika njia moja. If you have ears to hear, you must hear that. Kama nao masikio, uyasikii hayo. You must move with me in one direction. Lazima utembee nami kwa lengo moja. That is a must. Hiyo ni lazima. Cannot go this way, you go this way. Siwezi enda njia hii na wewe unaendea nyingine. Mhm. Hapana. -mm. It will be that the Bible you think you are preaching, you don't understand it. This Bible commands oneness. Obedience, this one. To the leaders. The Bible. Because when you have, you, you obey the leader. When you obey the leader, Ukioti kiongozi you and that same anointing will flow on you upako hule hule unatiririka ndani yako you will be a partaker of the same vision the burden he has utakuwa mshiriki wa maono yale yale na mzigo alio nao so you cannot do your own things hauwezi fanya vitu vyako and you pretend you are together na ujifanye tuko pamoja mm -mm. it doesn't make sense it doesn't work haiwezi kufanya kazi so we have to move together Lazima tutembee pamoja. May the Lord bless your hearts. Na Mungu abariki mioyo yenu. Welcome. Karibuni. Alafu na make sure hii simu yenu isiruke. Nimewaambia mara nyingi simu hizi zitawasumbua mara nyingi. Mnaweka simu inafika katikati inaruka. Mmeacha zile nini zenu zote simu zinaruka ruka sasa muna, muna, muna kazi Tuendele <laughs> Bigia makofi Wow Simu hiyo. <laughs> Simu hizo. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. 
The truth is much in all. Piga kidogo. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The truth is much in all. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. You open Matthew, 20, eh, Matthew 17. As when they sing is when we can in, 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 uh, allow them to Sing that song. Love to our Rusu, always a Quimba or Wimbo. Badu Mikwama Tena.
Matthew 17 Mathayo 17 I'm still talking on who has your testimony Naendelea tukuzungumzia ni nani anaye ushuhuda wako John spoke of Jesus Yohana alimzungumzia kuhusu Yesu. God is witnessing. Mungu anatoa ushahidi huo. Job said, my witness is in heaven. Ayubu akasema, ushahidi wangu uko mbinguni. I don't know where your witness or your testimony is. Sijui shuhuda wako uko wapi. And after six days Jesus took Peter, 
James and John his brother and bringing them up into a high mountain apart na baada ya siku sita Yesu akawatoa Petro na Yakobo na Yohana nduguye akawaleta juu ya mlima mrefu faragani Ingalie kidogo amewaleta faragani Petro na Yohana na Yakobo amewaleta faragani anataka kuwafungulia vitu hawajaviona bado bora gani wewe ukiitwa njoo hapa kando utaki na unataka kusonga usaidiwe wewe unajifanya mjuji sana lakini hakuna kitu unajua limreta kando kajua hawa nataka waone kitu kitawashtua bora gani unaona mwenye kuwaita amewaita faragani nataka afungue macho zao waone vitu vya ajabu sasa twende and they was transfigured before them and his face did shine at the sun and his raiment was white as the light Mstari wa pili madhaya 17 Akangeuka sura yake mbele yao uso wake ukangaa kama jua mavazi yake yakawa meupe kama nuru Hawajawahi kuona hiyo Wanafunzi hao hey. Wala gani We unapenda kukaa na watu wasio na msaada. Watu ambao they cannot risk you want them to show you God that they they don't have. Hao ndio unacheza na wao na waste your time and the resources of God. Napoteza muda na rasmi rais za Mungu. When you come from that place you become the, the worst person than ever before. Kitoka mahali pale unakuwa mbaya zaidi kuliko vile ulikuwa mwanzo. Wamekuvuruga vuruga mawazo. Lakini aliwatoa kwa kundi zote. Yesu hana upendeleo, aliona mioyo zao. Kiangalia hao watatu ndio walibaki kuwa pila Jerusalem Ninatengeneza uwanja ni kuhubiri kidogo Maana wameona kitu wengine hawa hawajaona Na wana Bwana yule yule mmoja Lakini hiki wanaona wao wengine hawaoni Unaona We una unakimbiza kimbiza na umati tu na hakuna kitu umeona Friday nilicheka na Martin akaja hapa akanambia yeye eh, ndio alipata mafunuo Najua nitakuja hapo Akawavuta kuja kando na hii ni waambia mara nyingi mje mkesha bana when is the day sipo nafasi nzuri ili upate kusikia
we unapenda watu wa hivi hivi tu kama wewe tu namna hiyo Yesu akawacha wengine wote watatu kuja Hapo wale watatu walisikia sauti ya Mungu uh. And behold was three They appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Mstari wa tatu na tanzama wakatokewa na Musa na Elia wakizungumza naye. Then Peter said Answer and say unto Jesus Lord It is good for us to be here. If the wilt let us make here three tabernacles. One for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah. Mstari wa 4 Petro akajibu akamwambia Yesu, Bwana, ni vizuri sisi kuwapo hapa. Ukitaka nitafanya hapa vibanda vitatu kimoja chako wewe na kimoja cha Musa na kimoja cha Elia while he yet speak behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and behold a voice out of the cloud which said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him alipokuwa katika kusema tanzama wingu jeupe likawatia uvuli na tanzama sauti ikatoka katika lile wingu ikasema huyu ni mwanangu mpendwa wangu Ninae pendezo naye msikieni yeye God is witnessing of Jesus Mungu ana shuhudia habari za Yesu God is setting Moses apart Mungu anamweka msa kando What God is saying no longer the law. Kile Bwana anasema sio sheria. You follow me? God is saying no longer the law. Sasa si wakati wa Torati. Sasa si wakati wa sheria wa Torati tena. The grace is coming. Neema inakuja. It's no longer the time of listening to prophets. Sio wakati ule sasa wa manabii. Elijah has been shelved. Elijah ametolewa. He represented the prophets. Alikuwa anawakilisha manabii. Moses the law. Musa sheria. They are now been shelved. Sasa wao wameondolewa. It's now Jesus on the scene. Sasa ni Yesu anaonekana. God is witnessing of the grace that is on Christ. Mungu anatoa ushuhuda kwa ile grace inaonekana. This mountain o mlima You know I hear people we do, you see look at me Tanzania knowledge is power ufahamu ni nguvu but you never go beyond the knowledge you know lakini utaenda zaidi ya njizi unavyofahamu The Bible says my people perish 
Biblia inasema watu wangu wanaangamia because of lack of the knowledge of my word in them. Kwa kukosa maarifa ya neno iliyo ndani yake. When you want to, to, to tell people how bad they are, God has rejected them. Nataka kuambia vile Mungu amewakataa vile wakomba wambaya. They quote Moses. Wananuku Musa. You know Moses did not reach Canaan. Najua Musa hakufika Canaan. Where is this mountain? Huu mlima uko wapi? Kwani huu mlima uko Egypt? Where is this mountain? Huu mlima uko wapi? Kama Moses hakufika Canaan, where is this mountain? Huu mlima uko wapi? Tuacha hayo. You know when you, when you follow shallow thinkers and they don't have revelation and they muta muta ndio hata na kuendea na vitu ambavyo vimeoza kitambo ile the old ile hivi kibuyu ya zamani ambayo kiwezi kushika vitu mpya mnafanya watu hapo na mnaisa yote mnazunguka zero grazing all the time hapa 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 wewe wewe Elijah Lia bana umefanya kazi yako kaa pale Moses hapo That is why God alone buried Moses Ndio maana Mungu pekee ndiye alimzika Musa Aaron was buried in the mountain Kule juu akamlima akamzika mlimani Moses in the play Musa katika nchi tambarare Musa katika nchi tambarare Nobody knows where the body of Moses Kuna mtu anajua iko wapi huo mwili Even his grave hata kaburi yake Even the grave of Aaron Hata kaburi ya Harun God buried them Mungu aliwazika In the mountain Aaron Pale mlimani Now let's go Sasa tuendelee And now Peter and John and James Petro Yohana na Yakobo They are seeing things they have never seen before. Wanaona vitu hawanjai kuziona. And what I'm opening to you today. Akili ninafungua kwako leo hii. May the Holy Ghost open your understanding. Roho mtakatifu afungue ufahamu wako. And they say, akasema, Jesus, Yesu, allow us. Uturuhusu We make three tabernacles here. Tengeneze one for you. Moja ni yako. And while they was picking. Wakati walikuwa wananena. Look at verse five. Angalia mstari wa 5. While they yet speak. Behold a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold a voice out of the cloud which said This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased here ye him alipokuwa katika kusema tanzama wingu jeupe likawatia uvuli na tanzama sauti ikatoka katika lile wingu ikasema huyu ni mwanangu mpendwa wangu ninayependezwa naye msikieni yeye not that too Sio wale wawili. Sio wale wawili. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo has come. Amekuja. This is huyu ndiye my beloved. Mpendwa wangu. I will defend him. Nitamtuma. He will do my work. Atende kazi yangu. The way I am raising up the dead. He will do the same. Atafanya hivyo hivyo. I've given him authority. Nimempa mamlaka. He is my beloved. Yeye ni mpendwa wangu. The testimony of Jesus. Ushuhuda wa Yesu. The Father gave first. Baba akampa. The Father gave him first. Baba akampa kwanza. The first witness about Jesus. Wa kwanza ushuhuda wa Yesu. Yeye ndio wa kwanza kushuhudia habari za Yesu. Baba 